Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I had him pick out his favorites for me. These are my husband's all-time favorites and out of my collection of fragrances that these are the ones he says he loves on me. So, girls, you may wanna check these out. Guys, you may wanna smell them and see if they are of interest to you because that special someone might just need these in their collection. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me today. I am Velma and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you just a few of my fragrances out of my collection that my husband has picked to be his all-time favorites of mine. Um, I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. And then don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I upload new content on my channel. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I haven't really taken a look at what he has selected for me, but let me tell you from what I can see here on the side, I'm a little shocked by some of them. Um, it usually happens that sometimes what tends to be our favorites on ourselves happens to be different ones than what your significant other or special someone might like on you or prefer on you. So from time to time, it's a give and take. From time to time, knowing that special occasion, knowing that special situation that we're in, there's gonna be times where I wear fragrances just straight up for me. And those are gonna be ones that bring me joy, lighten my mood, bring me pleasure. But then there's also gonna be those times where I may not enjoy that particular fragrance to the level that he does, but I'm gonna wear it for him because I know he enjoys it. So let's go ahead and take a look to see what he has selected. All right, so just so that you know, I don't have a massive collection. I know there's some people out there who have hundreds and hundreds in their collection of fragrances. And some of you who are minimalist may only have five to 10 fragrances in your collection. I know that what we have is relative. Um, I have about 75 bottles in my collection. Um, and out of those, he has selected his top seven. So these are in no particular order, but let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this one here he has picked is Miss Dior, not the 2017, 2014 version, 2012 version. This one here is Miss Dior absolutely blooming. I have a few of Miss Dior's uh, fragrances in my collection, and this is the one he has chosen to be one of his favorites. It is a fruity rose floral fragrance that has a fresh, powdery dry down. I'm surprised because he tends to go a little bit deeper, a little bit heavier, a little bit more musky than this one. This is definitely a fruity floral, but this can be used any time of year, any time of day. It can be used from day to night. It really is a universal signature scent. That is, that is very interesting because I don't reach for this as, that often because it's a little bit heavier than what I would like to wear on myself. I usually enjoy something lighter, something more um, intimate, something more arm's length. This one projects a little bit more and it's gonna get you noticed in the crowd. This one here is Miss Dior, absolutely blooming. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one that he has picked for me. Okay, um, I am surprised by this one as well. This one here is Coach Dreams by Coach. I know you've seen me talk about this one. This one was recommended to me by my sister-in-law who always smells so amazing. This is a white floral. It's fruity, it's sweet, it's tonic, and it is fresh. I love this bottle. Let me find the atomizer. Okay. Oh, this is sweet. This is romantic. This is delicate. This is, this is date night. 
for special cozy nights in, right? This is not for like, I'm gonna get all dressed up and gussied up and go to this elegant evening out. You could wear it for that occasion, but that's not something I would do. This is something I would wear if we were having a light casual date, we were having a cozy night in. This could be intimate. This is perfect for spring and summer. Oh, it's light, it's floral, it's sweet, it's elegant, it's feminine. In the top notes, there's a pear and bitter orange and fruits. Gardenia and cactus flower. I think the cactus flower is what brings that, that little airiness and that kind of green light airiness to it. And broxen and woody notes. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Coach Dreams by Coach. Okay. Interesting. This is good to know. This is good to know. So if you haven't done this with your special someone, try it out and then that way you know which ones they truly enjoy you wearing so that you know when you're wanting to create a certain vibe or romantic setting or whatever it is that you're trying to create for that intimate time with your significant other, you know which ones to reach for. All right, okay, so a new one to our, our fragrance collection and I am so glad he has picked this because it is a love love for me and I can't get enough of it. If you follow me on Instagram, I have posted her a few times. This is La Belle Fleur Terrible by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This one just recently came out um, in 2022 and it is a lovely fragrance to be used. It's coconutty, it's floral, it's perfect for spring and summer. I can see this transitioning tonight as well. Oh, it's iris, it's vanilla, it's aquatic. It's, it's so elegant, it's so pretty. It's, it is a light, beautiful, delicate floral. In the top notes, you have water lily, middle notes, iris, and in the base notes, you have vanilla. This one here, he has chosen La Belle Fleur Terrible. All right, okay, the next one, and you can see by the juice in my bottle, uh, and I know this is going to maybe shock some of you, but K. Alley's fragrances haven't been one, or fragrances I have not been drawn to. Um, we have a few of them in our collection. My daughters love the apple variation, the um, vanilla, and 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 I've tried them. It's I don't know. There's just something about it and the way they wear on my skin. It's not something I typically reach for. But he has chosen a love of many of y'all's. Vanilla 28 by Kiali. This is sweet amber. It's vanilla floral. It's powdery, warm, and spicy. And maybe it's just because I haven't reached for it at the right time. This reminds me of like a cozy date night in front of the fire, roasting marshmallows. <sighs> That's one I, I, I think of like blankets and cold weather outside. And I think of like being on, out on like a ski slope, lodge, snow, a ski trip. Something that you would be cozy indoors, wearing lots of layers. And I know for many of you, like, yeah, we're reaching for it during um, some of the spring and summer times. And it must be, like I said, it must be just where, you know, you may live, maybe in your area. I know all different parts of the world, our weather is very different from one another. This is one that I would reach for where I live in the fall and winter time. It is beautiful. I think I just haven't, haven't been drawn to it. Probably visually, 
The juice is very dark, which is gorgeous. I'm gonna have to give this a try. I know it's a favorite of many of y'all's, but you can see this is pretty full and I've had it for almost a year. So I haven't really touched it too much. All right, K. Alley Vanilla 28. I'm gonna have to revisit this one. Okay, the next one that he has chosen is one of my favorites, all time favorites, and thank goodness he likes it. And if he didn't like it, too bad, because I would wear it anyway. This one is Olympia by Paco Rabanne. Olympia by Paco Rabanne is a vanilla salty white floral. It is powdery, it is marine, it has balsamic. You can tell it is one of my all time favorites. And in my last couple of videos, I've talked about this. This is always going to be on my tray. I have it on my nightstand. I wear it to bed and maybe that's why he's fond of it because that is just something that I enjoy wearing in the evenings. I enjoy wearing it on date night. I enjoy it when I'm just wanting to lift my spirits and feel just healthy and good and just, <sighs> It just brings about a calmness for me, a security. Invokes that calmness, that peace, that tranquility um, in this fragrance. And this one is Olympia by Paco Rabanne. Love it, signature scent, can be worn any time of day, any time of year. Love, love, love Olympia by Paco Rabanne. All right. The next one that he has chosen, which is another one of my favorites, but I don't reach for it very often. I, I, I don't know why. I talk about it, I love it. And maybe just because it is a little bit heavier on the skin for me, this one here is Dolce Gabbana Dolce Garden. It's coconut, it's vanilla, it's a sweet floral, it's tropical, has a creaminess, it is beautiful. It really is beautiful. I think when I wear it, typically I will do one of those spray and walkthroughs because I don't like super heavy fragrances on, um, on me. It just, sometimes it creates a little bit of, um, allergy situations for me. I can tend to have asthma on occasion. So, um, my asthma will act up. So I just have to be careful when I wear my fragrances. But this is, this is sweet, this is elegant, this is pretty. Oh, she can be sensual as well, flirty. Oh yeah, this is Dolce Garden by Dolce Gabbana. All right, and the last one he has chosen from my collection is a new one to me and think Goodness, he loves it too. Um, and it was something that I was just wearing and I didn't tell him what it was. And you know, when someone says, and you know, you know, when someone says, what are you wearing? That smells really good on you. That's a keeper, right? You want to make sure that if it's someone that you care about and that you love, that they're feeling that vibe too. So this one is La Nuit Tresor Nude by Lancome. This was re recommended by Gabby on YouTube and I am so glad she talked the way she did about it. She sold me on it. I'm so glad I reached for it. I got the largest bottle. I'm gonna get another one. This is backup bottle worthy. This is vanilla and coconut, sweet rose and citrus. And it is just creamy, it's sexy, it's sensual. It, it's just, it's a sexy fragrance that's not overwhelming. This is a sexy fragrance that just hits everything right. This is tropical, it's sweet, it's elegant. This one here is by Lancome. It's La Nuit Tresor Nude by Lancome. These are the ones that happen to be his favorites in my collection. Let me know which ones are your favorites for your significant other, for your special person. Comment below, give me your scent of the day. I am so curious about the ones that you love. I know for me, I thoroughly enjoy these. I was just, uh, 
a little taken by a couple of the choices that he made. I was surprised by that, but you know what? That's good for me to know. I'm glad we did this. I'm glad we have this out there and hopefully this helps you. All right, everyone. So enjoy life, be your best self, and I will see you back in the next one. Peace and love. Bye.